Hey, it looks like we're starting to get some viewers here. I am freezing to death today. How about you? I think this project is perfectly appropriate for our Chicago weather. The heat's on, the leaves are falling, and I'm starting to freeze to death. We're going to make this fun project today. Inspired by the cold weather, the bright colors of these fun little ink joy pens, and the fact that I needed to craft something that wasn't red and green. I'm getting ready for craft fairs and wanted to offer a little bit of variety, so that's how I got to this. Hey, Julie, I'm glad you could make it. This is what we're crafting today. I'm freezing to death, so I decided on mittens for Facebook Live. Anybody else freezing to death? All right, we'll get started in just a minute. I see that we're getting some eyes here. Uh, I wanted to show you guys what um, the another thing that inspired this project. Um, I have this fun gift card um, holder that's going out to my newsletter subscribers next week. It's a Christmas um, theme with the Be Merry paper, and um, it was uh, taught to me by Sandy, my friend. And we've got a newsletter tutorial. It's an exclusive that's going out to subscribers next week um, on Wednesday. So if you don't already get the Kitchen Table Stamper newsletter, you get free exclusive tutorials every week that aren't seen anywhere else. Uh, the tutorial that's going out on Wednesday is for a Christmas version of this fun little gift card holder. So you see there's a little mechanism here and inside the pocket you can put a gift card. And this one is one that I made to share on the blog later, maybe even after the first of the year. So you will see this tutorial eventually on the Kitchen Table Stamper blog. But if you want to learn how to make this fun little gift card presentation, buzz over to kitchentablestamper.com. And in the upper right hand corner, you can subscribe to get my uh, weekly tutorials. You don't want to miss this tutorial. But I made this project to share later. Um, on the blog and maybe, um, like I said, after the first of the year, because it's not holiday theme at all. But the colors in this project are what drove me to the colors on this project. That and these fun ink joy pens. Um, as crafters, especially um, paper crafters that do fairs, we're always looking for little pens to go with our little notebooks. And so I was scouring Amazon for them and found these paper my ink joy pens. And made by Papermate, so they're not a cheap pen, and I was really excited about that. Ordered them up to try them. A bag of 10 assorted colors, and the ink matches the barrel, was $4.99. So, I was, oh, that's totally worth a try. And when they came to me about a week ago, I was like, oh, those colors are wild. What am I going to do? And this idea st started to formulate. So what I did was I got these... Um, three and a half by five inch notepads, and I picked them up at my Dollar Tree. I went online for Dollar Tree on, you know, dot com to see if I could find a link for those of you who maybe aren't local or don't have a Dollar Tree, but I don't find them on the online store. Uh, these five notepads are all glued together with one glue top, and you separate them apart, and so you get five notepads for a dollar. It's really a great deal. And what I did was I um, covered them up and then added the little pen loop to the side. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. And these would make a really cute stocking stuffer. Um, this would be a fun little gift to leave on the desks of all your coworkers. You can take this one to the hairdresser, um, send them in for the teachers, and they're really quite quick. We're not doing any stamping today. That's the crazy part. It's all die cutting and embossing. And it goes pretty quick. It looks like we've got quite a few people who have joined us. So let's go ahead and get started with the project. Let me tell you what Stampin' Up! supplies you'll need for this. It's um, all dyes, paper, embossing folders. The project features many mittens, framelits, dyes. And we're going to need this little Nordic pattern mitten and the cuff die from that set. And what I did was I taped my cuff die to this little embossing piece that does this cable knit embossing so that'll cut and emboss all at one time. Hey Sharon, I'm glad you're here. This is what we're making today. And you can see that that little die embossed this cable knit pattern while it cut out the cuff. 
And the set has some other fun little patterns too that you can emboss in the cuff. Look at this one's a little ribbed cuff. We're gonna do this cable knit pattern today. So you'll need these dies from the Many Mittens Framelits. I also used my Lots of Labels Framelits and I used the second largest Lots of Label. My Stitched Shapes Framelits, I used the largest Stitched Oval. And I love, for the winter time, my 3D Dynamic Textured Embossing Folder. This is the Cable Knit Folder. We're going to use that today. My trims are this mini trim, this mini tinsel trim from Stampin' Up. I love this mini tinsel trim. It comes in a two-pack. You get the silver and the red together. I'm just tying up a little bow. Um, and it just adds so much glam and glitz. It gives that winter chill to these bright colors. So we've got a little bow, and we're going to set that aside to embellish our project later. When you tie a bow, you can hold on to the center of the knot and pull the tails and that's how you can adjust the size of your loops without losing your bow entirely and so I think I like that I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the excess and set this little guy aside the other embellishment that I used on this was the Stampin Up Jewels basic rhinestone and I just used that to add a little glam to the center of the mitten. Uh, my consumables for this project are, and the project sheet will be on the blog shortly. I've already set it all up. I've got my um, cardstock here. This is Lemon Lime Twist. I also used some Berry Burst and did kind of the opposite design. This one is um, three and a half by ten and a half. And we'll score it in the Simply Scored. And then I used Dapper Denim and cut the label. That's the second largest. Whisper White for the stitched oval. My designer series paper is three and a quarter by four and seven eighths, I believe. Check the project sheet. And then I've got a strip that's five eighths by four and a half. And that's what we're going to use to make this little pen loop over here. Uh, I've got scraps. A larger one this is about four inches by maybe two and a half for my mitten. And this is literally the cutoffs from other things I've done. We need a little piece of berry burst to do the cuff. All right, I think we're going to start with die cutting the mitten and the cuff and doing some embossing. So let me grab the big shot. Love the colors, Diana says. Thanks, Diana. Okay, so if you've been watching me for any time at all, you know I love when I can do all my die cutting at once. So I've got my machine set up for die cutting, the thin die adapters in there, and then I've got the cutting pad on top. I'm gonna add my little cuff. Let me make sure that's gonna cut. Yep. Perfect. And my mitten. And I'm going to crank those guys through. Alright, now let's get this guy off of here because we're going to emboss that label right now while we've still got the big shot in the picture. So to do the embossing with the texture, 3D Texture Dynamics, you want to get rid of the thin die adapter and then put the cutout piece in the folder. And I want it to start on cables and end on cables, so I'm just watching that. And I also want to make sure that my cables go straight across, not uphill or downhill. Close my folder, put the cutting pad on top, and then let's pop that into the machine. Wait till you see what a deep impression this embossing folder leaves. It's amazing. They don't call it 3D for nothing. Okay, so... Here's where the magic happens, folks. Look at that. Do you see that deep impression we just got? It's such a little detail, but it's important. It makes the whole. All right. Now, while we've got a nice big clear space, let's get the Simply Score tool in here 
and we're gonna score up our cardstock. We're gonna put it in at the 10 and a half inch side and we're gonna score at five and an eighth and five and three eighths. For those of you who are just joining us, don't worry about the measurements. They'll be on the blog, kitchentablestamper.com. And you'll be able to find a printable project sheet there with a picture, measurements, supply list, everything that you need to follow along with this video later. I also archive the videos there in case you want to come back and watch it again or if you didn't see it all. Okay, so I've got my bone folder and I'm just working these creases here. You know what? I need my Simply Score tool again, so let's get that back in here because we need to score this little loop for the pen. So I got this four and a half inch piece and we want to score this one along the four and a half inch side at one inch, one and a half inches, two inches, two and a half inches, and three inches. Now the three inch mark is not going to get folded, it's just an indicator where our adhesive can start. So work the scores at one inch, one and a half, two, and two and a half, but then stop there. And what you'll do is form a loop from this. So you wanna score Here's our little indicator line. We want to fold this score. We want to fold this score. We want to fold this score the opposite way. Do you see what I've got going on here? So it comes in to make a loop. And that's what this last score line is for. Is that's our indicator where we're going to start adhering that tab. Okay? Clear? Now, we're gonna need some fast views for that. We want a nice strong adhesive. And at that three inch score line, that's where you start your fast views. You can pull to the end and then cut. And then we're going to bring around our loop and tuck this little guy right here. This little fold goes down to that three inch score line. And now we've made a little place to store our Ink Joy pen. All right, let's get the sample back in here so you can see what we're doing. I've got two of them, we'll get one over there too. All right, now my little notepad here. I'm going to cover the back of this with a generous amount of fast views. This notepad is not refillable. And then we're going to bring this little loop into the notepad. And I'm just adding kind of a generous amount of fast views so that we can stick this loop right to the edge of the notebook cover. There it is. Now I'm also going to, so this, note, this notebook is gonna be handled and I want that loop to be secure. So we're gonna really cover it with the fast views and pick up our notepad and drop that in the cover. There we go, we've done the mechanics of it now. Let's go ahead and decorate. I've got my piece of um, floral designer series paper. This is the in color stack. You get quite a bit of um, designer series paper in this pack. And these fun bright colors were just calling out to me. I decided not to use the floral sides. I'm using more of the um, lattice and the fan pattern here. And we're going to add that one to the notebook. Oh, I think I cut mine a little too narrow. Hang on a second, I'm gonna get a new piece. Why not make it perfect? Hold on, I'm gonna grab that paper. Must have cut that one at three inches. No good. We need to cut that one at three and a quarter. And 
then four and seven eighths. All right, take two. That's the fun part of Facebook Live. There we go, much better. All right, let's get some adhesive on the back of this one. Just center that top to bottom, left to right. I'm using a lot of fast views on this because I know this notepad is going to be handled. I think they'd make really cute stocking stuffers. What do you think? Anybody going to go and try making these little covered notebooks? I'm freezing to death. I want the mittens. Okay, so we've added our little cable knit. Look at that. I love the pattern and the texture. It's so beautiful together. All right, now we've got to get our mitten pieces. So I've got my die brush here, and we'll just lay this little Nordic mitten right on the foam pad and see the die brush is just pushing all of those little tiny bits right out of the mitten and collecting them on this mat. I love that it keeps the mess to a minimum and then just makes it so easy to pop the die cut right out of the die. I'm going to roll over this last little guy there. Ah, we got a stubborn one. Out you go. Mm, there we are. There's our mitten. Now let's get the little cuff. Pop that out of the die. And you'll see that great little cable knit emboss pattern right there. Love it. All right, this can just go popped right into the trash later. All those tiny little bits didn't get all over my office, and I love that. All right, I like to assemble this and put it on the oval with multi-purpose liquid glue. And we're going to need some dimensional adhesive, too. Looks like we've had a few more join us. That's awesome. I'll show you the card project that I did that inspired these colors. Let's get this little guy on there. All right, so we'll center our oval. Okay, I know I had some just join me, so let me just go back real quick and show you this. Isn't this fun? This is the project that inspired the notepads. It is a little gift card holder. So a standard four and a quarter by five and a half card, so it fits right in an envelope. Look at that fun mechanism. If you like that, there's a Christmas version of this card that's going out to my newsletter subscribers. So be sure when we're done to buzz over to kitchentablestamper.com and join my newsletter list if you don't already get it. We've been sending out weekly exclusive tutorials to our newsletter subscribers. And that the Christmas version of that gift card is the one that's going out on Wednesday morning. Maybe Wednesday afternoon, depending on how crazy my day is. All right, so I've just added the cuff with some multi-purpose liquid glue, and I'm going to just trace around the mitten and grab these wider areas with some multi-purpose. A little dab will do. That really goes a long way. Add that to the front. Oh my goodness, I love this cable embossed pattern. I think it's just such a great detail. Okay, now back to our embellishments. Let's bring this little guy in. So tell me, is it cold where you guys are watching from? Here's the little bow that we tied at the beginning of the video from the tinsel. I've got a mini glue dot and we'll adhere that one right on the mitten. I think every mitten needs a little frosty bling. What do you think? And I'm gonna take one of the larger size rhinestones and just pop that in the middle. Do a little embellishing. Oh, what a cutie. Now back to our little pen loop here. This time we're going to go with the one that looks kind of dapper denim. 
There we go. That was it. How fast was that? Wow, I feel like we did that in like record time. What do you guys think? I hope you like the project. Got any questions about it? Anything I can do stamping up for you? Don't forget that we're at the end of the buy three, get one free designer series paper sale. We've got just a couple of days left to take advantage of that. And the Mary Patterns host special it ends on October 31st also. So if you've got a question about that, shoot me an email, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks, Julie. I love it too. And it just goes together so quick. I can't decide how I'm going to do if I'm going to put it in a bag for market because these are all going to go to craft fair. Thank you, Sharon. I love it too. I just, and it's so appropriate for the day. It's gray and cold today. I hope the video is bright enough. All right. I guess I should let you guys get back to your lunches. Thanks for spending some time with me. I hope you liked the project. Go over and subscribe to my newsletter, kitchentablestamper.com, if you don't already receive it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Georgie. Oh, I love the hearts and the thumbs. You guys are the best. Have a great afternoon and a nice weekend. Bye-bye, guys.